guys, it's Lee from The Blogger Project. Thanks for tuning in to this week's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make one of those infamous collages that you see all over Pinterest and on sites like BuzzFeed. Uh, for this tutorial, all you will need is Photoshop and images to drop right into your collage. So let's get started. Let's begin by opening up our file in Photoshop. So we'll click on our little Photoshop icon. We'll come up to File, New. Um, you'll want to make sure that you are in pixels, so you can just click this little drop down, you see inches, centimeters, all that jazz. You'll want to make sure you're on pixels because people will be viewing your collage um, digitally. So we'll click on pixels. I always keep mine 700 pixels wide just because every blog that I write is 700 pixels wide. So maybe yours is 640 or 690, whatever that may be, you can change your width. Um, right here. The height doesn't really matter because we'll be able to adjust that once we're actually inside of the document. So, um, you know, 2000 pixels is fine. Resolution 72, fine. And then we can come up here and name the image whatever we want. I'll stick with collage and press OK. And this is going to open up our file size. So just a little tip, Command Plus is going to let you zoom in if you're using a Mac. Um, command minus zoom out. So the first step that we are going to do is actually create our collage using the rectangle tool or ellipse tool, whatever kind of collage you want to create. Um, and so really what we're, gonna, what we're going to do is create masks and then insert photos into um, the rectangles that we create. So you'll want to make sure that your fill is on an actual color doesn't matter what color at this point, um, you just want to make sure that it's on a color and not no color. Stroke can be on no color. So, like I said, any color works. We'll come down here to select our rectangle tool, and then you simply create your first rectangle. And the nice thing about this is you can create your rectangle and then you can resize the rectangle. So you want to come over to the selection tool, make sure that you are on the rectangle layer, and you can actually shift this around inside of your document. So I'm going to just zoom out here a little bit. Um, and I think for my collage, I'm going to make vertical, um, vertical images. So I'm actually going to stick with this image right here because I want to copy it and paste it right here and then size it so they're exactly the same with a little space in between. So I'm going to go over here to our uh, rectangle, rectangle layer and I'm going to double click and that's going to pop up this little menu bar and just click duplicate layer. Um, and then you can rename it to whatever you want or rectangle one copy is fine. So it duplicates your layer. And then again with the selection tool you can easily move it around. So what I'm going to do is place it you know, right to the, to the right side of your first rectangle with a little space in between. And then I'm going to come over to the um, to the layers on the right hand side and I'm going to select both of them so I'm just going to hit shift and then I'm also going to select rectangle one and that's going to select both of your rectangles um, inside of your file and so now by holding down shift you can resize both of the images to fit exactly um, in your space and it's, it's really easy to do instead of, you know, trying to make one rectangle and make the exact same size, you might as well just copy and paste them. And so to make the second row, you keep the two selected here in your layers, you double, um, you double click and then you create or, and then you duplicate the layer again. Press OK and then you can simply just shift the two um, rectangles that you just created. And the spacing in between um, in between the images is totally up to you. Some people don't like to use spacing at all. I actually prefer spacing, so um, yeah, we'll leave that up to you. And then, so I have six images to fill this collage, so I'm gonna copy and paste this one more time. And then we can insert our photos. And here I'm just using my arrow tools, which is nice um, for little small movements just like this. Awesome. So I'm going to click off the background and I'm going to hit command minus, which is going to let me um, 
uh, zoom out. So as you can see, we have a little space here at the bottom that we don't need. So we can come to the crop tool. And I like to have my crop tool on unconstrained. Um, that means I can crop it from any direction and it's going to allow me to do that. So I'm simply just going to drag it from the bottom up and then press enter. And so now we have the exact size that we want for our clutch. So we can start from the top to the bottom. And I actually, what I, what I like to do before I make collages is actually create a little folder that has all of my images inside of the folder. Um, and so it looks like I accidentally dragged more than one image. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six images. Um, and it's really, really easy to do. And so let's make sure we're on rectangle one. So we're on top of rectangle one, which you can see is the first rectangle that we created. So we're going to actually take our image and put it inside of this rectangle. So simply what we're going to do is take our image, drag it right into Photoshop, press enter to place it. So I'm going to command minus to zoom out just a little bit. And then I'm going to come over to our layers here on the right hand side. And so we want this first image to be right above rectangle one. So what you're going to do is um, hold down Option or Alt, depending on what kind of computer you're on. So Option for Max. And then you see my little cursor. I'm going to go right on top of Rectangle 1, and you see how this little arrow shows up? Click, and it's going to actually place that image right inside of your rectangle. So now I can move this image around inside of the rectangle. I can even hold down Shift and resize the image, which is really, really nice. And then you can use your arrow keys to kind of you know, shift it around um, inside of the image. So hit enter or return to place the image. Now we can move on to the next one, same exact thing. Um, you're going to want to make sure you're on top of rectangle one copy, which is the second rectangle that we um, created inside of our file. Next um, image, drag it right into your Photoshop file, enter to place it. Hold down Alt or Option and then place it right inside of that image. Holding down Shift to resize. And then using the arrow keys to kind of just shift the image around inside of the rectangle. So it's super simple. Um, you know, these literally take me like three minutes to do depending on, um, you know, how intense the, the actual collage is. But these do very, very well on Pinterest, collage images. And they're really, really easy to brand, which is really great. So on Fit Foodie Finds, I think I've done about 10 roundups now, and I use the same exact template for each of my roundups. So they're super branded, um, which is great. So we're almost done here. We've got about two more images. And then I'll show you guys how to add some text. Once we're done. All right, last image. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so now we've got all my images inside of the collage. So what I'm going to do is hit Command Plus to zoom in. Um, and I'm the type of person that either likes to have text here at the top or have text um, kind of inside of the image. Um, in the, and for the sake of difficulty, let's do text kind of inside of our collage. So what I'm going to do is hit the crop button and I'm just going to extend our image. And we can change this later on, but um, I'm going to leave about this much room for my text. And what I'm going to do is come down and select rectangle 1 and rectangle 2 as well as the images inside of them. So holding down shift all the way up to this birthday cake cashew butter. So I'm going to come to my selection tool and I'm just going to shift these guys up. Just like so. And this is going to leave me some space right here to add in my text. Um, so let's deselect um, these rectangles and images and just select our background. 
So now we can zoom in a little bit more and we'll select our text tool. Now oftentimes people like to shade the background of their text. That's totally cool. Um, let's, let's actually do that. So I'm going to come over here to my color dropper. And let's see, I'm going to select, I'm really loving this blue color. So, um, so I selected my color dropper. Now I can come over here and this turquoise blue color I'm really loving. So okay. So now that's going to change the fill color of um, our rectangle. So I'll just come right over here now and create my rectangle. Perfect. So we'll want to come back to the background. So select the background and now we can type our text. By selecting the text tool in your toolbar. And so for Fit Foodie Finds, I use Century Gothic Bold. Um, that's just kind of what I've been sticking with for the past, you know, 12 months. But feel free to use your own font. So Century Gothic Bold. Um, and then we'll just click right inside of um, our rectangle that we created. And so you can see right here that the text right now, if I type, is actually below um, uh, the, the rectangle layer we just created. So you want to make sure that the text is on top of the rectangle. All right, so let's call these Fit Foodie Finds Healthy Recipes. And you can name it whatever you want. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just kind of resize it. And let's see here. And so right now I feel like there's too much space at the top and at the bottom. So I'm actually going to shift this down just a little bit. And I'm going to shift this down. Whoops. Command Z. Edit undo. I'm going to shift this down and recenter things. And then what I'm going to need to do is reshift down these two images. Super easy again. So holding down shift from rectangle one all the way to that second photo. And you'll just shift it down to meet your text. And then click off onto the background and then recrop that image. So as you see, we have our collage image now. Fit Foodie Finds, Healthy Recipes. Um, the great thing about this um, is that, again, I mentioned this before, this is going to do really well on Pinterest because long images um, tend to get repinned and shared so much more than your typical vertical and especially horizontal photos. So let me quickly just show you guys how to save this image. Um, really simple, you just go up to File, Save for Web. And so we already have our width size properly. The height is 182 pixels, or 1,842 pixels. Great, I like to save my images in PNGs as opposed to JPEGs. I find on the internet it's a little bit more clear. The, the photo quality is a little more clear, so I like to stick with PNG 24. We're going to click Save. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, um, what you name this image is very, very important for SEO purposes. So as you can see, I named this file collage when we first started. I'm actually going to rename this to Fit, Fit, Fit Foodie Finds Healthy Recipes. Um, and the way that Google and search engines read um, alt tags and the names of files is by including dashes between each word. So I'm going to go fit dash foodie dash finds dash healthy dash recipes dot png. And I'm just going to save this onto my desktop, click save, and voila, you have yourself an amazing collage that you can post to your blog, that you can pin, that's really sleek and branded, um, and yeah. And a great thing to do now if you're like, I really love the, the layout of this collage. I think I want to save this as a template. So what I like to do is actually go in and kind of just delete all of the images from inside of the little uh, rectangles that you created. So now you can zoom out. And you have this awesome collage ready to go whenever you want to just pop in six photos. And I'm going to go up to File, Save As. And I'll save this. Um, file as a PSD. So the next time you open it up, you can open it right up into a Photoshop file. And I'm going to call this collage template. And then you can save it onto your desktop. I actually, um, on my desktop, I always keep a file of 
collage image templates because there's a few different ones that I like to use. Um, but yeah, you'll just save it as a Photoshop file for the format and you click OK. And then you're good to go for the next time you want to create a roundup image.